Hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nina Valens. How are you today? I'm good. And yourself? I'm living it up. Yay, my favorite phrase. Well, we want our listeners to live it up. So to that goal, we have open phones all hour for you at 866-870-5752. And the show is called Living Pain-Free, which means you're going to call and talk about your pain. It's musculoskeletal pain, which means muscle pain, joint pain, tendon pain, ligament pain, discs, back pain, neck pain, hip pain, arthritis pain, elbow pain, knee pain, hip pain, on and on and on. If you have stiff joints or aches that are mysterious to you, something that's basically orthopedic in nature, then you want to give us a call. That number again is 866-870-5752. And when you call the program today, you get a free book, Dr. Darrow's latest, called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, subtitled Regenerate, Don't Operate, with lots of scientific studies in it. And we have a website for you to go find Dr. Darrow at www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. You can see Dr. Darrow performing the treatments on video and email him off of every page on the site. And reminder that we're here Saturdays at 10 a.m. and again at 1 p.m., So that number again for you to call us is 866-870-5752. The time goes quickly, so please do not hesitate. Call now and don't have this big jam at the end of the show and we run out of time for you. It looks like we we have a caller. Yeah. Kathy, Dr. Mark Darrow, how are you today? Hi, Dr. Darrow. I'm doing great. Oh, good. Uh, I I saw you yesterday for a therapy in my knee. Okay. And um, just thought I'd call in and say I'm doing great, and my knee feels good today. I'm home lounging around and listening to your show. Okay. Well, that's amazing. I'm glad you had something good to say. (laughs) 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 Um, So, yeah, it's good to rest the knee for a day or so after a treatment. And uh, some people go right back to work. I've injected all parts of me. I've done both my knees, my shoulders. Um, I've had my neck and back done. Um, There's other things I'm not thinking. Oh, I had broken ribs one time I had done. And believe it or not, I just stay at work and uh, keep going. But I think it's best for patients to take it easy and not add another variable to their experiment. See, to patients, Kathy, it's an experiment because they haven't been around this much. So I think it's always best if they just chill for a little bit and don't do other modalities um, at the same time. A lot of people are seeing uh, other practitioners, and then if something happens, they don't know what's causing it. So I think you're smart, very smart, to just let it chill, see how the process of PRP does work. And for the audience, I'm just going to tell you what PRP is. It's platelet-rich plasma. It's a very simple process, as Kathy can verify. We just drew your blood yesterday, correct? And then we spun it it in a centrifuge, and then we injected your knee under ultrasound guidance. That's very, very, very important. Um, The studies show if you don't use an ultrasound on a knee, you're going to miss that joint about a third of the time. So a lot of times people have things put in their knee. It's not really getting into the knee. And they might even have to have an incision and drainage to clean it out again. So the ultrasound is very necessary in certain parts of the body, knees, hips, shoulders. You've got to use an ultrasound to get into that little tiny area where the joint is. Um, So anything else you have to tell us about what your experience was like? Um, Well, it's it's been pretty pretty easy. Um, I've done two stem cells also. Okay. and um, the first one uh, you, you did, um, because I insisted, I've been using my own bone marrow, but yes. then the second one we did cord cells. And I just okay. I was kind of wondering if um, you have seen any differences between the two 
in That's your practice? That's a great question, Kathy. Um, we had the question too. Anecdotally, it seemed the same. So we took 650 patients and uh, we put them in different groups and we did the statistical analysis and the results are exactly the same whether we use bone marrow, which is simple. I mean, I hope it was easy for you. It's easy for me. I like doing them because it's kind of a guy thing to use a drill and put a needle into the pelvis. But um, since yeah, I started I doing... Yeah, but since I'm doing cord blood, nobody wants to get drilled anymore. I honestly <laughs> can't remember the last time I did a bone marrow. I think it's had to be like a month. We usually do about maybe one a week or so. Uh, back in the day before for the cord blood, we used um, bone marrow exclusively, and I was doing probably about um, 80 of those a month. And now that we're using the um, umbilical cords, then uh, there's a lot more we're doing because there were a lot of people that didn't want to get drilled. So, yeah, it's a simpler procedure, but uh, for you folks listening, if you want to use your bone marrow, let's go for it. I like doing it. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. It's quick. It actually takes me about 15 seconds to do the bone marrow procedure. So either way, it's yeah, great really for me. I didn't feel anything when you did your little drilling. I didn't, I didn't feel a thing, and it didn't, I didn't have any problem with it. It just healed over quickly. Well, I couldn't even see where the little incision was the next day. So. Yeah. Well, like I say, it's not a big thing, but some people don't like the idea of it, and some people didn't like it, and then backed off from getting treatment. So I brought on, you know, a newer modality, which, um, like I say, statistically, we have a giant study, 650 patients in a study is huge, and the results so far are exactly the same. So that's um, a lot of good hope for people that don't want to use their bone marrow. It's, it's very simple. We just do PRP, you know, just draw the blood, and then we mix it with um, some frozen stem cells. We have a big freezer full of it, and um, let it melt, and then mix it together, and then inject it. So, yeah, good questions. Any other questions you have or ideas you have or things you want to share with the public? Well, I, I think my biggest challenge has been with um, exercise, and I, I certainly understand, especially with a knee, you don't want to pound that joint after it's been treated. You want to give it time to heal and, you know, build new cartilage. Um, but, um, you know, I've struggled to come up with, you know, different exercises to try to, you know, keep my muscle strength and um, endurance and Sure. Just not go crazy with not exercising. Yeah, I, I agree. Part of my and, everyday life. Yeah. So I, and I, live in, I live in your world too, and so does every patient I treat. I've been doing this work for over 20 years, and I don't think there's ever a person who said um, healing is convenient. It just isn't convenient. It's something that uh, you have to make some changes in order to let Definitely the body heal. Yeah. yeah. It's a, commitment. it's a commitment because it takes longer, longer than I realized in the beginning. But um, certainly um, worth it if I don't have to have a knee replacement, which I'm feeling well, now. You, you know, I remember your, I remember your knee, and you've got a very good knee. And why anyone, why any doctor would want to do a major surgery that people can die from, get infected from, and in the end. Uh, many patients that I've seen with these joint replacements do very, very poorly. So I don't know why they're still doing them. I mean, sure, if you've got a knee that's been smashed and there's nothing left, you've got to do something like that if you want some range of motion. But every day I have new patients come in and say they're ready for a knee replacement, and I examine the knee, and I'm glad to tell them I think they've got a great knee, and we can just regenerate some tissue and help it heal. And you're in that category, so I think you're going to do great. Yeah. And thank well, you so much. I hope to get back to hiking one of these days, but in the meantime, I'll <laughs> muddle along with my <laughs> non-weight-bearing exercise. Sure, sure. Well, also, you know, you can do a lot of aerobics with the upper body. There's circuit training you can do. You can do weights quickly, light weights quickly. is very aerobic. And you can keep your wind going. 
and your endurance and all that, even if we're just working on your knee. The people who really have the problems are those that come in and let's say they've got an upper extremity and a lower extremity problem, let's say a shoulder and a knee. Then that's an issue with them exercising. It's tougher. But some patients will actually um, get on a, a rowing machine or a stationary bike and do it with one leg and keep their endurance going that way. So there's, there are a lot of ways to skin the cat. You just have to be creative in your lifestyle and figure out what works best for you. But thank you so much, Kathy. Appreciate your call. Sure. God bless and thank you. Thank you to you and your staff. is just so loving yeah, and uh, they are. kind and, and helpful and really reduced my anxiety about the whole thing. And, yeah, um, I'm, I'm really very fortunate. My, my patients and I are very fortunate for the staff I have. Like you said, they're very loving people, and um, they do a great, great job taking care of you guys. So we'll right. talk again well, soon. I'm, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right. God bless you. All right. Thank you for your call, Kathy. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. Our number is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. And you have a couple other things going on around the office, Dr. Darrow. Do you want to talk yeah. about that? One of, one of them is uh, the vampire facelift, Halloween time, right? Um, it's a great <laughs> name. All it is is very simple. It's taking uh, your platelets and putting them into your face, just like I do it on the musculoskeletal system. My wife, Michelle, is a, a nurse practitioner, and she does it on people's faces for cosmetics. She also uses it on the top of the head to stimulate hair growth, and that works very well also. And either of those procedures are very simple. We just draw the blood, spin it, and then do the injections. And then for patients who come in that are overweight and it's causing uh, more knee pain or hip pain or foot pain, we're going to ask them to do a diet. And people don't like talking about diets, but I'm sorry. If you come to me and you want to feel better, I'm going to suggest it. I'm going to, I always tell patients, I go before I start, I go, tell me to shut up if you want me not to talk about it. But, <laughs> but if you do a diet you're going to take off a lot of pressure from your your joints. And every pound above the waist is four pounds biomechanically on the knee, as an example. So if someone is 50 pounds overweight, that is 200 extra pounds of pressure on the knee. So I'm just the messenger. Don't kill me. It's just the truth of uh, biomechanics and physics that um, if you help me out uh, by doing your end of the bargain, which is dropping a few pounds, that's going to help you feel better. I can do my part, but if you do your part, it works even better and quicker. So we have a diet that I checked out called Ideal Protein, and uh, you can call the office, and uh, we have a, a diet counselor there that will help you do that. If you tell me not to talk about diet, I will not do that. I will not pressure you. But it is something that we do have in the office. It's not something I'm doing for me. It's something I do for you guys. And um, it works very well on everybody who does it. It's an amazing thing. I've seen people lose 100 pounds. People lose about 15, 20 pounds a month consistently. So for a lot of people, they just do it for a month. And then for uh, people that are really uh, overweight, they'll do it longer until they're done with uh, losing the fat process. And people always say, well, I don't want to lose weight that fast. And my response is, yes, you do. <laughs> you want to get the weight off of that joint as quick as you can so you can heal. And, um, you know, a funny thing is uh, almost everybody goes, well, I'll, I'll lose the weight, then I'll come back and do the treatment. No one ever once has ever done that. So it works in conjunction with the treatment. That's the motivation is getting the treatment. Then you lose the weight real quickly, real, real quick. Plus, don't you think people need a plan and support to lose yes, weight? It's very hard absolutely. to do. Absolutely. And the nice thing about our program is once you drop the weight, we, we show you and teach you how to keep it off without being on this diet just by eating low glycemic index foods. So that's another great adjunct to it. Shall okay, I take, we're looking... uh, go ahead. 
Come yes, uh, we're looking for your calls, 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. If you're just joining us, this is Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Our goal is to help you live pain-free. So if you're in musculoskeletal pain, give us a call, 866 870 Five seven five two, and you were going to take a question. I, yeah, I have um, anyone who goes to the website, which is www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. Every single page on that website has a spot where you can email me, and um, I enjoy being close with my patients. Every patient gets my cell phone number. And if you want to reach me now or any other time, you can just go to that website and email me. I'll get back to you. Typically, it's that same day. And uh, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I do emails. In between patients, I do emails. And I'm typically up to about midnight uh, doing emails uh, with patients to stay close to them and answer the questions. So this is one of them. This came in on Thursday. I stumbled upon your site, that's my website, while researching the possible causes of the recent problem I'm having immediately following a double cortisone injection. So cortisone um, is a steroid. It's a steroid that is a strong anti-inflammatory, and it's not really good for people. And I know it's used in traditional medicine as a panacea. They do it everywhere in the body that hurts. So anyway, this person says they had a double cortisone injection. Let's see what's why. The side effects are strange, and there is very little, if any, information regarding my particular type of effects. I don't necessarily need to respond, need you to respond, but though I would let you know what's happening to me in the hopes of that someone else may be spared this discomfort. I, re- I received fluoroscopic guided, that's live x-ray, guided injections in both hips due to labral tears. So that's something I would never do. You don't do, well, I can't say you because doctors do it every day. It's not a good idea to inject labral tears with a steroid, a cortisone, because that makes it worse. It might feel good for a while because it's a strong anti-inflammatory and the pain can go away. But the steroids actually dissolve away the tissue. So this person then goes on to say, within 30 minutes, I became short of breath and experienced numbness of the face. The labor breathing was severe for three days and has gradually improved but hasn't gone away. I had a massive headache for three days as well, but that has subsided. I'm experiencing fatigue, abdominal swelling, hot flashes, dizziness, sore breasts, and severe muscle soreness all over my body. I'm a woman of 42 years of age and in very good health until this. So, you know, I always tell people, um, honestly, I have a lot of people who come in that are just uh, what I'm going to call looky-loos. They're checking me out, and they're checking to see if regenerative medicine can help from them. But um, most of them are going to end up with a traditional doctor and end up with a steroid shot because they think that's the easy way out. And I've seen too many problems with steroid shots. I've seen areas where the skin dimples, and I've seen areas where the tendons dissolve away and a person can't even move their limb anymore. So I'm not a proponent of doing cortisone shots. It's the easy way out for the doctor. It gets rid of the patient. But then when these terrible things happen, the doctor's in trouble because they haven't gotten the consent of the patient to do it um, in terms of what the sequelae or side effects are. So please, folks, stay away from the steroid shots, the cortisones. When it's time to heal, Use healing natural techniques like I do. Use PRP, use stem cells. That's a natural thing. I don't have side effects from that other than typically stiffness after the shots. Um, I've had myself, I've, you know, I inject my own body. I do get stiff afterwards when I inject, but that typically only lasts about a day or so. Once in a while, um, I've had patients complain it's lasted longer, but uh, it's being done in a natural way. It's using your cells or um, C 
cells that have no negative reaction in the body. So that's it. Be careful. Okay. Our number again is 866-870-5752. And Dr. Darrow's website is www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. And we're going to Harry in Los Angeles. I also want to mention that um, if you call on the show, you're going to free copy of my book, which is Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. And the lovely Suzanne Summers wrote the foreword to the book. She is a proponent of um, stem cells and PRP, platelet-rich plasma, and she likes it because it's natural. I like it because it's natural, and my patients love it because it's natural. So, Harry, I'm going to respond to your question here that uh, you gave the call screener. You said that you have a vein that popped behind your retina. Would PRP work? The answer to that for me is I do musculoskeletal orthopedic work, not ophthalmology. So I have no idea. I could refer you to a wonderful uh, ophthalmologist named Howard Krauss, who is in my building. He's probably one of the most brilliant doctors. And I would, if I were you, I would call his office and ask that question. I wish I could help you. But I am not an ophthalmologist. I know dentists use PRP and stem cells quite a bit. I'm not sure if ophthalmologists do for the eye. Do you have any other questions, any parts of your body that have pain, Harry? That's what this show is about. Uh, well, other parts of my body that have pain. No, not really. I'm, like, I'm actually in great health. I'm 70 years old, and I have more energy than anyone I know, and well, uh, I take a lot of supplements, though. Good for you. So yeah. 70, 70 is the new 30. And um, people That's are... Right. I agree. That's I, right. tell, I, I tell my patients I'm 71 years old, and they go, That's crazy. You can't be. You look so young. I don't know if that's my personality or physically, but I stay skinny. I'm wow. about, about 6 feet, 170 pounds. And I think being thin is probably the most important health thing a person can do. Keeping your insulin low, it keeps disease away. And insulin is inflammatory. It causes heart disease and diabetes and cancer and all that stuff. So I hope you're pretty skinny. Well, I also, you sound good. I, I also... I also look younger because my wife is a clinical esthetician. Oh, and I good. get a great facial and I do, and I do the PRP uh, Dracula uh, facials all the time where they draw my blood like you were explaining. And yeah. then they microneedle it back into my skin. I do it every six weeks. Wonderful. So I'm a real, I mean, I really believe in all of that. It really helped me. And well, what you ought to, cons- what you ought to consider is the vampire facelift. It does an even better job. That's using injections What's the into the face. Between the vampire facelift and, the, and what she does, which is she uses microneedling to put the fun platelets back into my system. So well, primarily, your, your wife is not legally allowed to do the vampire facelift. No, my but, wife doesn't do it. My wife oh, doesn't do it. Okay. No, no, she doesn't do it. I have someone else that does it because... Well, if it's, a med- if it's a medical doctor, they can inject and then grow back collagen um, deeper into the tissue and make you look much younger. The, the vampire... Rather than using... The vampire... Yeah, the, vamp- yeah the, the microneedling is just for the surface of the skin. The other, the other things are injections deeper and... Um, it, it doesn't hurt because you numb up the face. But I think if you're interested in looking young, then you want to consider the vampire facelift, which we can do for you. Where are you located? We're across the freeway from UCLA on Wilshire Boulevard. So Wilshire and Barrington. Oh, you're close to me. Good. Yeah, you're not that far. I live, I live right next to Cedar Sinai. So, um, okay. All right. Can you can you give over the air or have your screener give me your address and I'll. I'm going to give you everything right now. Yeah, hang with us and um, stay put, Harry. We have to take a quick little break here on Living Pain Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. 
Grab a pen or a pencil, write down this important information coming your way. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 